Welcome folks to Professor Outdoors. It is early July and that spring branch uh, for a much needed break. Just pulled in here under the world's best smelling tree and uh, here's the world's loudest school bus pulling out. Um, the stream today is very low and clear. Uh, I can see lots of trout in it. Um, Pete and Davis are coming up today, so we're going to have a little fishnick, a little fish and picnic here. I've got lots of good stuff. Got uh, hot pickled eggs, got roasted nuts, got a bunch of cheese. Oh, we are going to have a very, very good time today. It's pretty warm out. It's in the 80s, so we're going to need to stay in the shade. But man, am I excited to go trout fishing. Thanks for coming along. I hope we have a great day. Davis has a toad. toad. Alright, Officer Davis, can you describe what you saw on the scene in the large pool down here? Andy's saying he fought a fish. <laughs> so we've been told. He definitely definitely hooked a fish. We saw the rod fold. It sounds like the fish got under the cut bank, popped off. That's what happens. Life at the Spring Branch. But what did you observe after that incident with the fish and some foreign material. <laughs> what did I want? The corn. Oh, yes. After that, we uh, witnessed somebody, obviously at the Spring Branch, had been fishing with corn because there was a great big rainbow trout sitting in the middle of the pool. And all of a sudden, we see the fish open its mouth, takes a little cough, and then corn comes just, pouring out of his gills, dumping down the stream. Just vomiting corn everywhere. <sighs> Are you this guy? Are you fishing the green giant fly upstream? Who are you, crazy spring branch corn man? Let's see what we got here. Let's see if he can trade down. He's fishing the old bobber, which helps a lot with the corn, obviously. <laughs> there he is. That was cool. I watched him come right up to the surface and grab that little you him in. I gotta get him up. Yeah, I'll probably jump down there and bring him around. Well, here's a little less of a jump down here, oh. dude. Maybe. I recognize that fish. Yeah. I think I have him on. There he goes. Now, this is a gentleman's choice. One man passes a rod to the other and then back. Nice rod. This is very gentlemanly. We're a sporting group. We are a sporting group. We're a sporting group, a bunch of us. Ideally. He'll be knocked off by another one. I believe he foul hooked him. <laughs> He's hooked in the ear. He is. The ear is like the mouth. Did you get something? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Here he goes. Can't believe you got. Can't believe it. This guy always catches He's a master fish. Angler. He go. is a master angler. Can I have it? <laughs> Here's where the carnage, carnage begins. begins. We got Eggman. Pickled eggs, ghost pepper. We got prosecco. We got this strong stuff. We got sherry bounce. That's a good, that's a good tasty drink. We got goat cheese. We got a plate with Davis's brook trout from this very stream that I painted on there. We got the jam and cheese, and we got the tiffin jars. Oh, look at the jam. We got Tatanka beer. We got tiffin jars of tasty things. It's gonna be great. This is a brilliant invention, the Ryobi fan with a little water pump so you can, can get in here and <sighs> so good. Even jar, we got Swedish Christmas cheese, we got fresh roasted nuts, we got gherkins, we got garlic stuffed olives. It's a good day. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Davis is hooked up. He's got a nice one. He's little leading it. Little rainbow. Leading it up the stream. 
down he goes to land his catch. Look at the valiant rainbow as he struggles. He wets his hand in preparation for the grab. And there he is. Ta-da! Nice! After a lot of food and uh, some beer and champagne, we decided to tour the hatchery and see the brook trout pond here. So that is pretty exciting. Uh, it's very warm, feeling very sluggish. So here we are. Checking out the baby fish. So for everyone who has wondered where are the brook trout at Spring Branch, <laughs> here they are. They are in this pool. These are native South Pine brookies, and they are going to be used here uh, as brood, brood stock. So, they so eventually, yep. they will be uh, stocking the native South Pine brookies back into Spring Branch. These are good, good sized fish. It's gorgeous. Enough. Getting this cool water from the spring that comes right back here. It's cool and beautiful. Well, as we pack up to finish the day here, it has been a wonderful day. So, Davis caught some fish, I caught some fish. Pete, Pete didn't do a whole lot of fishing. He did a lot of picnicking, <laughs> which is A-OK. -okay. Um, we had a nice time. The stream is beautiful and cold as always. I went down by the bridge, got in the water a little bit. It was very nice. Um, it's just been a beautiful day. Lots of people out here. We went and visited the, the brook trout in the hatchery that'll be uh, spawning fish to be stocked in here. All in all, a wonderful July day. Pretty hot one, but it's always nice being here under the world's best smelling tree. So thanks for tuning in to Professor Outdoors today, guys. Thanks for coming along, and I hope you're having a great summer.